Hello everyone and welcome back to another Star Trek Starships collection review. I have in front of me something very unique. This is the oversized extra large edition of the Type 15 Shuttle Pod Elbaz seen on the next generation. Um, this shuttlecraft or this particular model is only available as part of the Build the Enterprise D uh, collection and um, apparently they made quite a few of the Enterprise D shuttlecraft available uh, in these oversized versions uh, which are humongous compared to the um, shuttlecraft sets that we've gotten in the collection before. So yeah, I managed to uh, get one of these things via eBay because I'm not obviously building that Enterprise D, but uh, I did get one of them and hope to get maybe the others in the near future, but uh, we'll just see how that goes. Um, but for now, I'm gonna show you the El Baz and it looks nice in the box. So I'm going to quit my rambling and open this thing up and get the magazine out and jump right into it. All right, folks, and there you have it. Here's the magazine for the Type 15 Shuttle Pod special issue. Uh, from the looks of things, obviously the magazine is the small size. That is, this is the size that is uh, that comes with the other uh, shuttlecraft magazines or the other shuttlecraft sets, and so on and so forth. And uh, in this particular instance, it makes sense because it fits in this smaller box uh, now, uh, which coincidentally, this format of sending the ships seems to be the new norm as opposed to just coming loose with a magazine and a ship like they used to. Uh, so yeah, looking right at it, we have a neat image of the El Baz there on the cover, which I cannot recall if it's the same one that was on the original magazine from a while back. And as you can see, Type 15, as I've mentioned, 3.6 meters, crew of only two and assigned to the Enterprise D. Turning the page, the format is the same. Um, putting a model on the stand is really simple. It's really simple. You just place the thing on the top. And uh, got a little bit more information here, uh, the rest of which is on the front cover, as I mentioned to you a moment ago. Uh, it was first seen on the most toys and last seen in the episode The Second Sight. And of course, the ship was designed by Rick Sternbach. And you turn the page here, and we have some, we have a nice uh, different perspective of the uh, Obaz there, and um, a little bit of text there. And we have a little bit more about the Obaz, a lot of text there. Uh, this particular, this particular shuttle pod has been seen a few times on the next generation. Um, and so there's that, a lot of pictures and screen caps from that the various episode has appeared in. And here we have the different views of the shuttle pod. And we have an L cars of it, of course, showing you where the components are. And of course, uh, this particular section talks about its various appearances. As I've mentioned, it's been in several episodes. So it's cool to see uh, that here. I like when you do that. So then you can really kind of know what episodes to look for if that's something you want to do. And then here's a section on the design process of the shuttle pod. And more on that with some concept art so on and concluding with time squared which is probably the episode it's most famous for appearing in and then of course get your other models on eagle moss blah 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 and the magazine concludes with this rear view of the ship there which coincidentally is not the top or bottom view so interesting that they chose that this time around so yeah not a bad magazine a little bit more in depth than I was expecting. And now, on to the model itself. All right, folks, and here it is. Wow, look, this thing is huge. Humongous. The Elbaz. 
bits in your palm like that. So look, you get a pretty nice and clear idea of how big this thing actually is compared to the original one. Um, the registry, NCC 1701D is very crisp and clean. USS Enterprise, the Starfleet stripes, the symbol, the name of this particular shuttlecraft, El Baz, uh, looks nice. Uh, I don't have any blemishes on the cockpit window. Um, nothing but dust. Um, the register looks nice. The 05 looks really nice. Clear, bold. Same thing with the uh, port side or the starboard side, actually. Um, Starfleet Stripe, El Baz, USS Enterprise, Registry, and 05. And this is the hatch that opens up. Uh, same with the other side. Um, the rear looks cool. Uh, not a whole lot of detail back there. Uh, this, it looks like a slight little paint blemish here, but that's no big deal, I guess. Or maybe it's a greasy fingerprint, I'm not sure. Um, the nacelles look, or the engine warp, not warp nacelles, but the impulse engines or nacelles or whatever they are, uh, look pretty good. Um, no clear plastic, of course, it's not on the actual model in the shows, so it wouldn't be reflected here. Uh, the bottom is pretty plain, but that's to be expected because uh, it, it looks plain pretty much in every instance that we've, that we've seen it upside down. Um, and it has a, a little bit of weight to it considering um, the plastic portions at the bottom and, and the cells or what have you are also plastic, the engines. And of course the primary body, this thing is metal. But yeah, this thing packs a little bit of weight considering. Um, very nice, very cool. Uh, you know, I wish that they would release these to the masses as far as uh, making the shuttlecraft this size as opposed to the smaller ones. While they are nice to have them in smaller form, at least the more famous ones, I prefer to have it at this size, maybe slightly smaller. Uh, this is almost like too big, really. Um, yeah, and apparently, like I said earlier, these this is the only, well, these are the only available through the Enterprise Build collection, and I don't simply have the patience or the time to be getting a piece of a model every month to put together. While I'm sure it'd be fun, but that might have been something I did or would have done during the pandemic and not now. Um, but yeah, these are one of the free gifts from that collection. And unfortunately, they're not available on Eagle Moss's website and you have to kind of get them from secondhand sources from people who do get the collection but simply aren't interested and hopefully uh, you can get a decent price on them because on eBay, they do fetch for a hefty penny out there. Um, usually I've seen them sold in two, uh, pairs of two, which would be the Elbaz and the other shuttlecraft uh, from the next generation. And, uh, but I've seen people selling them separately, which is how I got this one. So yeah, folks, uh, if you feel like chasing these things down, I would highly, you know, recommend it. Um, for my taste, this thing is huge. I was expecting it to be a little smaller, but this thing is big. And if you have extra space or something, then, then go for it. Um, yeah, this, <laughs> this is definitely an unusual one. Um, but I like it. I'm happy I have it. Um, I do like the smaller one. I was happy with that. But this one is just as cool as well. Um, so yeah, I do hope that Hero Collector slash Eagle Moss does something in the future where they release these to the masses or maybe at a convention or something as an exclusive. I can handle that. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, of course, please drop a line down there and I'll get back to you as always as I try to be and try to do. And until next time, guys, live long and prosper, be safe, and uh, catch y'all later. Bye-bye.